Hey everybody, it is Scott the Steenroller Steen with winnersandwiners.com coming to you with the one and only Steenroller free play of the day. As always, if you're digging what we're doing, having a little fun, we'd appreciate it if you take a minute to give us the, uh, the old thumbs up there, give us the like, give everybody a chance to do it here right at the top of the video. So if you would, hover over that thumb. On my count, everybody, three, two, one, smash it, smash that thumb. Very well done. Nice job, nice job, and nice job there in the back. Well done, everybody. Uh, of course, if you haven't done so already, for your consideration, we would like you to uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, make sure that you uh, click the bell, get notified each and every time we put up brand new content. And of course, if you have any more questions, you're looking for deeper dives into any of these games or anything else, don't forget to stop by and check out winnersandwiners.com, the number one site in the world for predictive sports analysis. All right. So uh, lastly, we want to know what you're playing. Drop it in the comment section. Whatever you're on, basketball, hockey, soccer, whatever you got cooked up, put it in the comment section. You get it right, we'll give you the shout out. You get enough of them right, and you will be the capper of the day. All right, guys. Well, take a quick look at the action yesterday. Hey, you know what? Everybody said that 25 and a half is a lot of points to give. Sure was. It sure, sure was. Especially when uh, especially when Gonzaga let Pepperdine stay around in the first half. They did their thing in the second half. Stepped on the gas. Couldn't quite get there. Uh, they were, they were uh, with about a minute and a half left. They had a 24-point lead. I missed the shot. Went to the line to shoot two. Made the first one. Missed the second one. Thought to myself, hmm... I uh, wonder if that's going to come back and bite me in the ass. Yep, sure did. Absolutely, as they went on to win by 25. Nice, nice, nice. So, there you go, everybody. And I know that a lot of people were tailing that pick. So, it was a, uh, yeah, kind of a kind of a brutal day for most of you. One of you had a good number on that, and we'll get to that in just a second. But for now, we're going to talk about today's action. We got one cooked up in the NBA. I think, I believe it's the last game. In the NBA, as the Clippers head to Sacktown to take on the Kings, uh, we're going to play the LA Clippers. We haven't played one of these yet uh, in NBA season so far. We're going to play the LA Clippers team total over 118. Uh, they're going to be facing a Dur or Redful Kings defense, last in the NBA in points allowed, giving up 121 points per game. And they've been even worse over their last six, uh, letting the opponents gouge them for 130.3 points per contest. Not good. Uh, the Clippers, you know what? They've been fine. They've been a little bit inconsistent, but you know what they've done well? They've scored against bad defenses, and they don't get a lot worse than this Sacramento Kings unit. Give me the LA Clippers team total over 118 at the end of this one. You guys can join me as we pick up our winning tickets and head back to the window. All right, guys, you know how I did. Let's take a look and uh, and see how y'all did. It was a uh, peaks and valleys, guys. It was a great day yesterday, or a great day the day before yesterday. A little bit tougher for our cappers. Some guys made some money. We'll talk about it right now. Vegas J, he got his 3-1 and one plus 190. Calvin Hayward, he goes 2-2 two and two and gets juiced. Uh, C-Dub was 2-2, two and two and he had the Zags first half over. I don't know what the number was, C-Dub. They scored 43. I'm going to guess that uh, didn't get there. But uh, drop me a line let me know how that ended up. Uh, Hammered Hank just had one play today. He played it big, and he hit it. Nice job. Henry, 1-0, plus 100. Memon Funderburg, he turned a profit, 3-2, and two, plus 80. Shot by J-Mac. He goes 2-2 two and two and got juiced. But uh, our capper of the day is a young fellow. I'm assuming he's a young fellow. He could be an old man like me. You never know. Um, but he, uh, I think he's glad hockey's back because he went 3-0 and oh in hockey. And he was the one that had the uh, Gonzaga Bulldogs minus 24 and a half. Way to beat the line move, Derek. It is Derek Saunders, everybody. He goes 4-0 oh, plus 400. Nice job. Hey, Derek Saunders, you are the capper of the day. Well done, my friend. Well done indeed. And uh, yeah, good job to the rest of you. Like I said, it was a tough day today. Glad to see some of you made a little money for the rest of us. Hopefully you kept enough powder dry that we can fire at them here tonight and over the weekend. All right, so you guys have a great day. Once again, thanks for watching. Always, always uh, appreciate each and every one of you. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's go out there and have a little fun, make a little money, and uh, we'll be back to talk about it tomorrow. All right, you guys take care. See you then. Bye-bye.